You can add as many modules to the page as you require and you can add multiple modules into the same content pane. So to give you an example of this, if we go back to the layout mode, you can see we have placed a text HTML module into the content pane. Let's add a second text HTML module into the content pane as well. So I'll enter a title for this module. Visibility will leave same as page. We'll insert this to the content pane and we'll also insert it to the bottom of the content pane. So this means it will be placed underneath the My First Content module. If we click on the Insert drop-down list, you'll see we also have other options available for positioning this module within the content pane. So you have the options of inserting to the top, above, below, and bottom. We're going to insert this to the bottom of the content pane. So let's click on Add Module to Page. And you can see the second text HTML module has now been added into the content pane underneath the first HTML module that we added to the page. Okay, so now let's add some text to the first text HTML module that we inserted into the page. To do this, we need to scroll back up to the admin control panel at the top of the page and select edit. So to edit the text in the first text HTML module, we can click on the edit content link here, or we can also go to the module's settings menu here, and we can select edit content here. So let's select edit content. If we scroll down, you can see the FCK editor, and this comes as default with .NET Nuke, and it works in a very similar way to using Microsoft Word. So we will click in the content area, we'll press Ctrl and A to select all of the default content, and we'll press the delete button. And now we can type in the content that we wish to display. I'm just going to paste some example text in here. So you can see it works in a very similar way to using Microsoft Word. If you wish to bold or italicize any text, all you need to do is highlight the text. So we'll click here with the left mouse button and drag our mouse to the left to highlight that text. And then we'll click on the B icon here for bold. So there you can see we have bold text. If you wish to italicize any text, again, just highlight the text and press the I button. And you can also underline text. So if we select this text here and click on the U icon here. So you can see it's very easy to edit the text. You will see that you also have the option to style the text using the font drop down list. Here you can select which fonts you would like your text to be displayed in. However, I would recommend you do not use this method for styling your text. The best method for styling your text is to style it through your skin. Before using the text HTML module, I would recommend that you read this article. If you go to DNN Creative and the tutorials page here, scroll down to the core module tutorial section and in here you will see a section dedicated to the FCK editor. In particular, make sure you read bad practices when working with the text HTML module. This article outlines the bad practices to avoid when working with the text HTML module and it also goes on to show some recommendations and best practices for adding content to the text HTML module. You'll see here we also have a host of other tutorials for the FCK editor and all of those tutorials are worth watching for getting the most out of the FCK editor in .NET Nuke. Okay, let's return back to our .NET Nuke installation. Other options you have within the FCK editor are that you can easily create links. 
So for instance, let's select and highlight this text here. And all we need to do is click on the link icon here. So click on that icon. And within here, you can enter the URL for the website that you wish to link to. And we'll click on OK. So that's how you can easily create a link. And you can also insert an image into the page. So if you place your cursor where you would like to insert the image, we'll insert the image to the end of this content here. Just click on the insert edit image icon here. Click on browse server. And this will display all of the files within your .NET Nuke portal. You can browse and upload new images. And you can also create folders here to manage and organize your pictures into categories. We cover this in detail in further tutorials, so I won't cover this in detail here. Let's just add an image to the page. So select this image here for data springs. We'll enter some alternative text for the image. So the alternative text will be displayed if the image cannot be displayed on the page. So for instance, if a user's browser has images disabled, and all we need to do now is click on OK. And you can see that image has been added in there. So to save this content that we've created, if you scroll down, all you need to do now is click on the save link here. And you can see that content has been added into our module.